In this lesson, we'll look at the problem of solving a system of linear equations. Before we solve this problem on the graphing calculator, let's take a look at the elimination or linear combination method, which is similar to how the graphing calculator's programming solves these problems. It's easiest to solve using this method if you first get the variables on the left side of the equation and the constants on the right. To do so here, we'll move the negative 3y to the left side of the equation where it will become a positive 3y. From here, we want to eliminate or cancel out one of the variables. In this case, it will be easiest if we multiply the second equation by negative 1, since that'll give us 3y in one equation and negative 3y in the other. If you'd rather eliminate the x's, you would multiply the second equation by negative 2. After multiplying every term in the second equation by negative 1, the two equations are added together. We're left with 1x on the left side and 4 on the right. Now that we know x equals 4, we'll substitute back into one of the original equations to solve for y. Since the first equation started 2 times x, we'll replace that to get 2 times 4. That means 8 plus 3y equals 6. Subtract 8 from both sides to get negative 2, and divide 3 on both sides to get y equals negative 2 thirds. Oftentimes this solution is considered to be the intersection of two lines. In this case the point of intersection is 4 comma negative 2 thirds. Using a graphing calculator we can solve this problem and much more complicated problems very quickly. On your TI-84, start by opening the Apps menu and open PolySimul2. You can skip down quickly using Alpha P. Select Option 2, Simultaneous Equation Solver. You'll have a variety of options. We're going to start with the same problem as before, so keep the default settings. Now enter just the coefficients from your equations. It's important to first rearrange them the way we did when solving by elimination. X is first, then Y's, the vertical line on the screen represents the equal sign, and finally, the constant. After you select Solve, notice that x1 represents x and x2 represents y. If you go back into the App menu, you'll notice the TI-84 is capable of doing up to 10 equations and 10 unknowns. Watch as a three-variable system of equations is solved. There are a couple of special cases you'll want to watch out for. If you understand slope, it'll make sense to you that the two equations being entered are parallel. In these types of situations, the 84 will return an answer of no solutions. In the next case, the lines are coinciding or overlapping. When that happens, the 84 will solve for x in terms of y. Take a close look at what this looks like. When you see this type of result, the problem has infinite solutions. <laughs> 